What's up, my beautiful light family? Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, beautiful messages early in the morning. Beautiful messages flowing through my being. Beautiful truth that lights every cell. Beautiful truth that opens my eyes. Beautiful truth that makes me understand. Beautiful truth that helps me connect to all things, to you, to God, to my love, to myself, and oh, to this planet. So interesting how in relationships, when you feel that attraction to someone, that love, that forget about attraction, when you feel that love, that deep love for someone, it's like that connection, that moment, that to the divine, right? It's almost like, it's almost like it's your heart starts pounding. It's like as if you were going home to God, like connecting with God and, and, and it's beautiful, right? It's, it's a remembrance, right? Of love. It's a, it's a it's that romance it's that oh it's it's those it's those movies right those romance and those rom-coms and <laughs> romantic dramas and that love that you know uh causes us to do silly things or to do amazing things and the issue is that we meet that love and we feel that divinity and then all of a sudden we want to make our partner god and we hold them to the standard of God. And the problem with that is that we are human. We are God-like essence ugh, energy that's in this body that's human. That is not God. And so what we, what we see is we catch ourselves um, being let down often. Because we're holding a standard We're holding a standard that's not the standard in which we are in. And so understanding that when you meet that person, persons that activate you in that way, right? Because there are many people in my life that have activated that love so deeply that it remember, made me remember parts of myself and who I am. It right? started to awaken me, each person in our life, whether it is a romantic love or it is just a... Oh, deep soul connection, friendship, love, all of them. Because cause your friends can hurt you just as much as your love can. Maybe not as much, but it can hurt. And so what do we do with that, right? What do we do with this knowing? What do we do with this understanding? So we're understanding that when we are connecting with, so we have this monad that we are connected to. It's the, it's the highest portion of our soul essence before God, right? Imagine like the umbrella that then all of a sudden, all of our soul family is coming out of, right? You and your twin, right? And the connected in union, right? Right below the monad and all of your soul family, right? Coming out of that place. Sorry about the phone coming out of that place and so every time you interact with these people that are in your soul group connected soul group or your divine partner which that frequency is so your frequency which when we face when we face our sacred partner it's that moment of uh, the deepest moment in this human body of remembering your soul's essence remembering god Okay, so we understand that. We understand that deep, poof. Uh, and then we have to come to, okay, oh, that feeling. I felt that. I was so beautiful. What the hell was that? Okay, cool. Yeah, you did. You touched God. You did. You had that moment of love, 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 deep love. God, love, God, love. That awakening that started. And now we get to go into, ah. Uh, I want to connect more with God, which is something that we do personally, which is something that we do sometimes alone. We can do it with our partner, but we could also do this alone where you are every day on, whether you like to pray on your knees. I like to sometimes pray with my face in the carpet, right? Or while I'm walking, where I am connecting, where I am saying, thank you, where I am saying, I love you, where I am saying, I trust you, where I am saying, please guide me where I need to be guided, where I am saying, where I am weak, make me strong, God, where I am having faith, blind faith sometimes, where I am crying and purging and screaming and make it better. And I am in that moment of really connecting with God in a way where I change. 
my form changes into the essence in this body and I become strong internally. And what I do then is I look at my partner or a friend or those people in my life and I see them as big souls, but I also see them as human. And I allow the flaws, the perceived flaws to not be about me. Do I do this perfect? Nah, I don't. <laughs> I don't. I get hurt all the time. But then I bring it back to the truth. Oh my God, we're human. Oh my God, I can't get everything just from you. I need to go inside. There are things that I need to go inside for. There are things that I need to go to my friends for. There are things that I need to go to my beloved for. There are things that I need to see a professional for. There are things, there are so many parts, pieces that we can, we can reach inward. We can reach outward to get what we need. But we must be reaching inward. We must be finding the God within. We must be connecting to that part. And so your partner is uh, who the mirror of that. It's the awakening of that. It's the seeing that. It's the working through this shit together. It's the, uh, it's the understanding <laughs> of everything that I just said. We have co-creating abilities like God. We have that miracle within us. We're also human. Don't make your partner God. All right? Connect with God on your time. Make that a priority. I promise you if you do that, you will see your partner or your friends or your family in a much different light. And you will have had, you will, you will have fulfilled that space that only that connection can fill. So that when you go into any relationship, whether romantic or not, you go in full. You have served yourself. You go in full so that you can be compassion and love to other people. So that you're not in your wounds all the time, right? We're making everything about you. Where others' projections don't hurt quite as much. Maybe they hurt in the beginning and then you're able to work through them and whew, take what you need to be responsible for and leave the rest. So with all of that, I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you guys so deeply. You're amazing. I hope that, um, I hope that this helped in, in a lot of ways. And if you, if you liked it, please uh, like the video, share the video. Um, allow yourself to sit with what I said. It's one of those things we have to sit with for, for a lifetime. It's a teaching that we have to sit with, ancient teaching that we have to sit with for, for the rest of our lives. It doesn't come right away. It's something learned. It's something practiced. It's something experienced. So have a great and beautiful day. Bye.